is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling problem with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. July 22nd. Man, can't believe we're going to be kicking into August. Don't take anything personal. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and a personal view. It's no one's truth but yours. That's a hard card to figure out, actually, but... Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 58, NASDAQ up 55, S&P's up 8.5, gold contract up $4.40, trading out at $18.07 an ounce. We have silver up 12 cents, trading out at $25.36 an ounce. Light Sweet Crude, what a run on Light Sweet Crude. This is pretty amazing, actually. Light sweet crude up a buck forty-eight, trading out at seventy-one seventy-nine. Just to give you some context there, folks, okay? Um, you are talking about on Tuesday night, we were at sixty-five dollars or at seventy-one seventy-nine. Pretty amazing. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note right now, trading up five ticks at 134.08. The 30-year uh, up 18 at 164.19. Now, what notes and bonds did. This is a classic, man. Notes and bonds broke, came back to its breakout area for Monday, had lighter volume, rejected lower price, bottom line, higher price coming at you once again. King dollar. King dollar is up 44 ticks, trading at 92.798. The euro is at 117. The yen's at 110.10. And the British pound's at 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I can tell you, folks, this market is setting up to go after its highs. You have the tech stocks that are going to come in with numbers next week. That is telling me that we're going to blow these highs away. We'll see how this thing shakes out, but this is how it seems to be setting up right now. The SPY is up 93 cents. You're at 435.50. The lows of the high out here is 435.31, so you're already into that bar. That's saying it wants to go after that bar. Now, there's no doubt we have a contraction of volume inside of the SPY, inside of the indices in a big way. We'll see whether the tech stocks can save the market next week and get some juice. Right now, the bottom line is that you're going to the highs and you have a monster contraction. And when you do that, the bottom line is that if you fail at the highs, that will flip it right into a consolidation, at least a consolidation. Let's put it that way. The NDX 100. So the three Qs right now up, up two bucks. Uh, the differential here goes like this. We're going to start getting volume in the Qs. You know, yesterday you had volume in the Qs of 30 million. We're at 23 right now. So that should bang out about 37, 40 million. That's how, it, that's how it's looking. Now, the, the lows of the highs of the Qs are, are 362, 22. We're at 363.58. That's and the Qs are going to go for it. And what we do have is that next week you get all the big monsters that are coming out with numbers. So the bottom line is that you can expect high volatility, and we'll see how they approach those highs. Gold. Gold contract. It's a nice setup, man. Frustrating if you're in the market, but the bottom line, nice, nice setup. What I specifically mean is that you've come down, you've tested a strength. So, so the strength 
folks had 277,000 contracts. The strength was generated out there on the 6th of July. We come down on Monday, and you come down with 255,000. That's big volume. You're going to 266, but that's still big. We tested yesterday. Yesterday, you tested with 219, rejects lower price. Today, 186, rejects lower price. Nice setup. King dollar. Now, king dollar is the trickiest one out here. Not that it's the trickiest one out here. It hasn't been able to hold price. And when you get this close to a high, it's like, oh, man, you know, why can't you get to the highs? That being said, uh, the bottom line, what we have with King Dollar out here today is this. We get down to 92.507. Well, 92.405 is what we have to get back inside of in order to get the lower price. You know, we'll see how this baby shakes out. We almost got to the uh, highs. We missed them. Bottom line, you get a sideways day out here today. That's how this baby's shaking out. Some of the higher volume, ec well, here, no, let's go to notes and bonds first. Notes and bonds, and you see this, because this is a classic, man. When I mean by a classic, it's a time in the trade classic, okay? You talk about coming back to a breakout area, coming back with lighter volume, and then taking off once again. This is what you have. So we go top side on Monday. You go top side on the 10-year with 2.2 million contracts. The low of the Monday was 133.26. Well, we get to 133.27 today. It rejects lower price. You're going to have 1.3 million contracts. It's on the move again. Bottom line, what I expect what we're actually going to see here is you're going to see this build cause for higher price. I don't expect it to go right back topside because what the 10 as well as the 30 had done is they did their ABC structure in the way up, got the price projection, missed it by like two ticks or something, but the bottom line, got the price projection, pull back with lighter volume, and when you do that, folks, okay, that just sets up the next leg up in the market. Right now, the 10 years trading at 1.25%. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. You have uh, Apple is uh, up a buck 55. Microsoft MSFT is in a much larger ABC structure in the way up. It is taking another B point out today. It won't be another ABC. Well, it's in a much larger ABC, but it's not going to have volume today for another ABC up. Um, I don't think it is. Hold on one second. 26, no, no, no way it's going to be 10 million. But the bottom line, you can see it's, it's pushing highs, it's pushing highs with volume. Inside the NDX 100, out here, the strength versus the weakness. CSX come out with some big numbers. That is up 3.6%. You got Splunk up 3%. eBay's up 3%. Lululemon is up 3%. Taken away from it, Peloton's down 5.7. Texas Instrument off 5.4. Micron off 2.6. Let's look at my uh, Texas Instruments. So Texas Instruments come up short. Uh, bottom line comes down. Yeah, you get a consolidation down here. So um, 175 is game. You're at 183 right now. 175 is game. So we'll see how the, this whole uh, baby uh, does shake out. Stay right there, folks. We got Fred Ernest coming up. Fred is the CEO of Vista Gold. He's going to walk us through what's happening with Vista Gold. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 55, NASDAQ is up for 54, s and is up 9, we'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 53. You get the NASDAQ up 52. S&Ps are up 8.5. Our guest today, folks, is Fred Ernest. Fred is the CEO of Vista Gold. You've heard him many times on TFNN. We're going to get a nice update as to what's going on in the Mount Todd Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. Fred Ernest, welcome back to TFNN. Um, good afternoon. How you been, man? Very well, thank you. Well, you, you've been busy. You've been, you've been, no doubt you've been busy. So let's talk about, you know, and if you go to, our, you know, to Vista Gold, folks, it's vistagold.com. You're going to see right on the very front that you have uh, Vista Gold is commencing um, a feasibility study for the Mount Todd project. Is that a good place to start, Fred? Absolutely. Yeah, we announced uh, just this week that we've uh, commenced the engineering to complete a feasibility study. Uh, it's important for everybody to realize that much of the engineering is already at feasibility study standards. And as a result, uh, we're gonna spend uh, on the order of $3.3 million to complete the feasibility study and we expect to have it completed in the first quarter of next year. Nice, so let's talk a little bit about that because what you're saying specifically, so the work that you've done up to this place, it, so. Is it a legal term that we're talking about when you do a feasibility study for, for the like for the security world? Is, is that how that works, Fred? Absolutely. There's there's standards for a, a, a PEA, a preliminary okay. economic assessment, preliminary feasibility study, and a feasibility study. And and the feasibility study is obviously the most detailed. All of the cost estimates are based on material takeoff quantities, and it's a it's a very refined uh, estimate, and usually is the basis for a definitive investment decision. Nice. So now, if I back up a bit, you did a secondary prior to that, 13.5 million. So when I look at the 13.5 million, the, the bottom line, you wanted more cash in the treasury. Is that is that would that be? You know, but correct. Absolutely. You, you know, we've been very good about not diluting our shareholders. The last time we raised money was August of 2016, and and uh, with the uh, with the announcement that the mine management uh, plan had been approved in June, we were then in a position to uh, make the decision with regards to a feasibility study, and and we just needed to uh, to shore up uh, Treasury to make sure that we've got the money to finish this and get across the finish line with finding a partner. Nice. Now let's talk a little bit about the, the project itself in case there's, there's plenty of other folks, I'm sure, that newer folks that are listening that don't understand the project in general. So can you tell us a little bit about the project and, and just the scope and how big it is? 
Yeah, Mount Todd is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project with a uh, little over 9 million ounces of resource uh, defined at this at this point in time. The reserves for the project are estimated to be 5.85 million ounces, and and that's a number that will increase as we complete the feasibility study. Simply because the uh, the, the preliminary feasibility study was completed, the, the the reserve estimate was completed in 2018, a very conservative gold price of $1,000. So we expect the reserve to increase. Uh, this is a project that uh, once fully uh, once developed uh, as designed at 50,000 tons a day will produce just shy of 500,000 ounces of gold per year at, a, at an all-in sustaining cost of approximately $690 an ounce. That's pretty amazing. And that's an all-in cost. So an all-in cost, when we say an all-in cost, is that the cost of the gold and the cost of bringing the land back after the whole fact? That's the, uh, the, the all-in sustaining cost is the, is the uh, cash cost plus the uh, sustaining capital uh, added on top of that on a per ounce basis. I see. And in the, in the aspect, uh, let's talk a little about the drilling, because last time we were talking, you, you were opening up the drilling a bit, right? You know, we've, uh, we've been drilling uh, now at Mount Todd since uh, last fall. We've been stepping out to the north. Uh, the objective of the drill program is to identify areas where future infill drilling can add resource ounces. And we've been drilling on sections, um, stepping out 400, 200 meters. It depends on what, we, what we're encountering. The results that we announced last week, uh, probably one of the best drill hole intercepts that we've had. We're starting to see some thickening of the mineralized structures, which is exactly what our geologists have been looking for. We've established the continuity of these structures. And, and this is confirming our belief that all of the known gold occurrences in the district uh, five kilometers north of uh, the Batman deposit are now, we're, we're, we're confirming that they're all interrelated, that they're all connected, that these structures are continuous. And uh, we fully expect that there will be pinching and swelling and, and where there's an ex a thickening or, an, or a swelling of the structures, that's the kind of target we're looking for. That's where we can add ounces in the future uh, in, in the confined space. And can you give us a little history in the aspect of the gold business in general? You know, it seems like, so I've been in this business now, meaning specifically in the gold part of the business for 25 years. I've been in the financial business for like almost 40, but it, it's amazing to me that you have a piece of dirt and then, and, I, and you geologists, I know, you know, I don't know how you sleep at night, man, because you wake up in the morning, it's like, am I going to find where this goes? So that happens in a lot of deposits, right? That you have a deposit and then the hottest, is one of the hottest things tracing where that deposit has come from or where it expands to? You know, it's a simple fact that the best place to find more gold is next to some place where you already have it. Right. And, and understanding the, the geology, where the gold came from, how it got there, what, are the, what, what, what rocks are the host for, for the gold, is very important and this this process of tracking down you know where did it come from and how did it get there and what is it connected to the only way we can do that efficiently is uh you know through through core holes through through drilling and uh you know being able to get rock out of the ground and look at it and the geologists uh, you know log it and they and they and we drill oriented core so we know what it where it was oriented in the in the in the earth and then we're able to start to paint a picture to put connect the dots and project uh, where where this is going, and and it's really a it's a fascinating science, and uh, you know the early discoveries take a lot of luck, but you know once you make that early discovery, the geologists really do earn their earn their wages as they apply the the knowledge that they have and the understanding that they have about how these deposits form. There's no doubt. So so let's picture. I just want to fast forward a bit, right? When you're building a mine, I know you need water, electricity. And then how to get it out? How do how are you situated in those three things? Well, water. Uh, we uh, one of the permits that we received in June, right after receiving the approval of the mine management plan, which is essentially the same as an operating permit. We received authorization of our water extraction permit. Nice. And, uh, and, and what you see behind me uh, in the, in the picture up here, this is the freshwater storage reservoir right up here. Okay now have the authorization to be able to raise the dam and 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 to a capacity that will have two years of operating storage capacity we have the authorization to use 
3.4 gigaliters of water per year, which is more than enough for the operation. So we have the authorizations to create the storage facility and, and to harvest the water. With regards to electricity, we will generate our own power. We have a natural gas pipeline to the site. We can generate power with, uh, with the power plant that's part of the project uh, for, for about a third, uh, a quarter to a third of the cost that we can buy it from the grid. And so roughly 10% of the capex of the project is for the power plant that we will build and operate. With regards to metallurgy, we've spent a lot of time over the last uh, five years optimizing and doing a lot more additional test work to improve the, the metallurgical flow sheet. We've added ore sorting. We've added two-stage grinding. Uh, this has allowed us to accomplish three things. One, we're grinding to a finer size. Second, that allows us to increase recovery. Our recoveries have increased from 81.7% to now just under 92%. And third, our total energy requirement as a result of these changes has gone down. We're actually being much more efficient in the way that we grind the rock. And so we've, we've essentially, with the, with the metallurgical testing that's happened, we have uh, increased recovery, lowered our, our power costs, which drives down our off. Well, listen, man, congratulations. Uh, look forward to having you on again, Fred. Great update. Really appreciate it, man. Have a great one, Fred. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. 
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 33. You get the Nasdaq up 55. S&Ps are up 7.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time, outstanding program. You can listen to Basil. He also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get his newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Come over to our website, check it out. You're going to go into newsletters. You hit subscribe. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. You know, it's interesting. I heard you talking a little while back, and you were talking about the semiconductors. And then you mentioned Texas Instruments. Yes. So I quickly grabbed Texas Instruments because I, as I've said to you over the last two, three weeks, as we're talking about my webinar, my live webinar, we did the first one Wednesday a week ago, the, next, the final one coming up this coming Wednesday uh, live. And I thought, you know, I, everything I've discussed with you isn't looking back and saying, look how perfect that was. Is look at look at where we are right now, and then I told you what I was anticipating. You remember, it was what Friday a week ago. I said we're waiting for that in the next uh, 20 28 minutes. There should be a leg D in the 120 minute chart of, of the uh, uh, of the S and P, and then we should pull back, and we got that. So here I am. I grabbed this chart, and if I was just looking at the charts, I, it had no none of this the technicals. I'm just going to move them away for now. It didn't even have this D. I had done this, and I had this as a peak C, and I hadn't looked at it for about a week. So I grabbed it, and I'm looking, and I said, oh, my God, look at this. This is exactly what we practiced in, in my live webinar course just uh, last Wednesday, the, you know, a week from yesterday, and it's to teach how you can see a rising trend line put in a little mini channel. I call it the Chapman Wave Inside Track. If it's on the way up, it's a, a repellent zone. If it's on the way down, it's a propellant zone. And look what happened. From that peak A that was made in uh, Texas Instruments on the daily chart on the 1st of uh, June, it went to 160, what was that? It went to 162, one, one, sorry, 192.03. Pulls back sharply, and then it rallies, and it goes slightly higher, pulls back again, and then goes slightly higher. Well, if you draw in the line, I don't know how these lines hit so exact. If you were there uh, yesterday and you're looking at say, this is fantastic. Look at this. We just, we broken out. And then, no, if you see the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, that was a leg D. And remember the fourth highest peak, peak D is yes. where other things can happen. Look at, look at uh, Texas Instruments uh, from, I think it was December or January of uh, 2020. Yes, it's 135 peak D in the monthly and it plunges down to, I would say that's quite a fall, to 93 in that peak D. So look at this. Yeah, you get a peak D. I get a down arrow because all the technicals are negative. And at the moment, it's underneath the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. That should be the, buys, the buy area okay. if it goes underneath. So this is, this is exactly this. I want you to do this live. I also, this morning during my show, I was, I was showing... Um, the one minute chart, because we have now we have a number of people that are trying to practice the technique. And of course, if you can do it, the, it's a fractal. So it doesn't matter if you're on a one minute chart or you can see in a monthly chart, they do exactly the same things. So I, I, I discussed what we had mentioned last time was the dreaded H with an Eiffel Tower, where sometimes at 930 in the morning, you get a sudden spike in the market and then it gives it back. Well, that was that straight up movement straight down. I call that an uppercase A. It looks like an Eiffel Tower. It goes straight up and straight down. Then it turns around. And while I was doing my show, I said uh, I, some other technique is where we get parallel highs. And I call them peak C1, C2, C3. And it looks like it just needed a fraction to go to that D, but it missed it. But this takes the place of the D. And I said, be careful because we're pulling back and we pull back. And then we ran up, and I said, oh, remember, we can always go to D. D is what you look for. And look at this. There's that peak D. This is live. We did it uh, during my show. This is 1042 this morning, 4358.50 in the E-mini one-minute chart. And look how long it took to come down. It came down all the way from the, what, what, 4358 area to 4346. So 
And we'll just, you know, while we're talking about it, we've got the webinar coming up, a two-hour session live coming this Wednesday, going through all the different techniques, showing what people have been asking me, what can I show this, can I show that? So I've built up a little repertoire of what we're going to be looking at to practice live during, during the uh, show. And what will happen is that they get on their page, they get the whole webinar. So people have been going through the webinar slowly, and they can repeat as much as they want. It's there to go through as many times as you want. So um, I just thought I'd do this live because that's what we're all about. Oh, I thought I'd show you this as well. So we've got, what, about uh, 25 or so minutes to go to the end of the day. And here we are in the 10-minute chart. And I, I teach them how to do the left side, right side price time match. And that peak D in the 10-minute chart uh, back at 7 o'clock, uh, what was that? that? That was last night. Hit the 200 period moving average, started a big rally. The, the technicals crossed positive. And then I also teach them how to use a phantom peak. And this little A that you see in red, I call that a phantom peak because one of the technical indicators gave a little hiccup there, but it wasn't shown in the price. So I use that so I can get to this top. In, if I was waiting for a, for a D, I'd be at C now, and I'd be waiting. Here it's dropped already from uh, the 1360 area down to 1355. But I was ready for that because I had the phantom peak. I showed the technique. I showed what you use. And look at this. And now you've got your D. So these, this is live. This is what we're doing right yes. now, and that's what I'll be doing. So it's not like I'm saying, oh, look at this. And we can go back and say, wasn't that perfect? 2020. You're always perfect, but when you do it live, you have to have all these techniques, and it really helps to have a, I call it a little live, my Sears and Roebuck toolbox, toolbox of technical indicators. That's what we'll be going through. And we went through, actually went through all of them on that all-day session, and now we've been practicing them, and I try to do some of it live during the day uh, when I do my show so that we can actually put things together in real time. I think that's the way you can see it best. you got to love it, man. <laughs> and, you know, uh, this is the ever ready bunny, man. <laughs> Bottom line, it, it, these tech stocks just don't stop, man. I well, mean, pretty amazing. When you, it's, get, it's becoming a lot more selective. And you know what's interesting is, you know, I also look at round numbers. So Apple made a round number high, uh, one, two, three, four, about six or seven sessions ago. And it's not quite participating in this rally. That 150 all time, how do you get a round number? 150.00 all-time high. Well, those are the techniques we'll discuss. You're going to love it. Folks, very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters to see the opening call on the left-hand side. Just hit that button. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow up 22, NASDAQ up 46, S&P's up 6.5. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Pedro White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 15. Nasdaq's up 39. S&P's up 5.5. Let's go to our man, Mark, in Fort Collins. What's going on, brother? Hey, brother. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing better now that you're calling about the GDX. Talk to me. <laughs> well, well, I don't know. Um, I've been watching it, and I'm looking to take a long, but I, I looked at the weekly and the daily, and I'm seeing ABC downs. Okay. Like the 29 to 30 area. What do you think? Let's take a look. So we get the GDX. The GDX, the low of the year, folks, uh, is, uh, what, 30? The high is 545. We're at 33 right now. Okay, so you're looking... Looking at the swing from June 29th. With yeah, which is, which is viable. It's viable. And we broke I see, it. I see what you're doing. 29th. Right. So what, he, what he's doing here, weekly. folks, is this, okay? The, the bottom line is that... Um, oh, I see, though. No, but it's still viable. Okay, so you get, you get a swing point out here. There's no doubt at $33.30. You had 15 million shares, and you blew it away with 17 million and then that does set up an ABC down, and that would be approximately, you take the bottom of that candle, which is 30, let me call it 37, I'll take something off, it's about four bucks, which gets you 31. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is viable, yes, that, that, that's a viable ABC down. And, and so this one, it, it's, it could be, a, no, it's really not tricky, because last time we were down with volume had to do with the aspect of coming down on the 17th. Now, this is, so to answer your question, Mark, yes, that, that is a viable ABC structure on the way down to approximately 31, okay? Now watch this, because I've been trading this every day. Not this, but I've been trading gold stocks the last three days, and what has happened every day, folks, okay, is that they start off low, then they go higher all day long. Um, we'll see if that happens today. Um, now that being said, you can see that when we basically came down, you know, you're coming on down this high volume deal, low, the, so the highs of the low is at 32.24, and we got to 33.57. So to answer your question, though, the bottom line is that, yes, you, you have a confirmed ABC structure down. You yeah, know? it looked like the same on the weekly, so I was just trying to figure yeah. out, like, a target and I Listen, I, I, waiting. There, there's no doubt, you know, <laughs> every, every day at 6 o'clock in the morning, a quarter of 6, man, the first thing I do is look at the gold market and say, okay, where are you going today, baby? And the reason for that, it's, I don't do that every single day of every, of like 52 weeks, folks. But we are at a space right now that my take is that we actually are going to go higher and, and everyone's, you know, it's driving everyone up a wall. Because it's, it's just how the individual equities are actually trading. That's what, that's what you're hearing from me more than anything, Mark, okay? Because yeah, and the other thing, the other thing that's interesting is it, it, GDX broke a long-term downtrend line, um, and then it looks like it's coming back to test to test the, the uh, test it. And if it tests it, 
it'll be right where that ABC down is. That'll be interesting, and that should happen in the next couple of weeks. So which, you know, which, which no doubt, that'll be positive. Now, now, when you take this and you put this on a monthly, you know, you can kind of see that, okay, you're at the lower end of the consolidation, and you really want the GDX sell with $34.74. That's the highs. Well, the next one is what? Did 28. I don't want it to 28, but yeah, there's 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 diverge. Yeah, there's divergence out here for sure. I mean, and it's okay. about that U.S. dollar, man. I mean, it's blowing my mind that the dollar just can't hold price actually, because normally when you get this close to a high, you can you can get it done. You know, so yeah, it's a time. Okay, well, good. I just wanted to check my check my work and see if I'm thinking correctly and. I think I'm going to see if it'll test those low 30s before I jump in. So I, I, I'm, miss it. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, I, I get it. Trust me, I get it. There's, there's no doubt okay. about that. And that's, that's why some of the individual equities are a little bit different. You know what I mean? But I get it. Yeah. Trust me. You know. Okay. Cooking, Thanks brother. Sure. Have a great right. one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go take a look at SAVA. Okay, so this is a biotech, I believe. Yeah, the, the high... The low for the year is uh, two dollars and seventy cents. The high is one thirty. How do you like that? <laughs> that is that the triple what? Okay. So what the question is is that I'm going to put this on a weekly, and they're going to be looking for. Let's see, what we got here. So the question is on the weekly. Let's see. Can you comment on the weekly engulfments? Last week was bearish. This week's usually bullish, covering five weeks. Uh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a last engulfing. So, so to answer your question, okay, this is a last engulfing. And what a last engulfing is, folks, is this: is that a last engulfing is you go on an uptrend, you come down just like this baby did actually last week. You get to a lower low, and then you finish at the highs. You know, that being said, the bottom line is that we did have to have, let me just put this on a bar chart for a second so I can look at this. Okay, so, yeah, see, my, my take on this would go like this, okay? So, I, I understand that you wanted the candlestick chart. So, that's the candlestick chart and deal. Yes, yes, it's a, it's a last engulfing. And so, the way last engulfing works is that in order to, Get the signal. You got to wait to the beginning of next week because if it's if it's below the lows, below the highs of next week, that's last engulfing. That being said, I would you get any close under 117, I'd get out of this thing so quick you can't see straight. That's the real bottom line because we just blew away 117, and you blew it away with anemic volume, like in an extraordinary way. Even with its strength uh, on the daily, you know, when this had wide price spread, it went from 94 to. 126 with 9 million shares, and you're taking out uh, 47 million. So more than likely what you have here, um, you know, is the bottom line is that, uh, that you had those folks selling into it. And um, the Tiger's telling me that we're going to have volume next week. That's correct. You're going to have volume next week. You just don't know which way it's going to go yet, Dan. <laughs> that's the bottom line. <laughs> You'll get volume uh, when you get the FDA that's coming in. But, so that's telling me that the day before the FDA comes in, if you go below 117, get out of the way. Um, NQs, let's go take a look at the NQs here. So the NQs, this is pretty cool, man. I mean, these NQs are something else. You know, you, you take a look at them intraday out here. This is just hanging at highs. Uh, bottom line is that uh, this wants higher price, man. You know, you, you're popping into a Friday. You're right next to the high. Uh, you're coming into all the big earnings next week. Let me just see when there is. So I believe Microsoft is the 27th. Amazon is the 29th. Google is the 27th. Facebook is the 28th. This is cool, man. Apple is the 27th. <laughs> that's this. Well, this is going to be quite a week, man. That's that's the real bottom line, and we'll see where those numbers come in when you. That, let's see. So, yeah, hey, we'll see where those numbers come in. I expect that the highs are going to get tested. The real kicker is going to be at that point. You know, what are you going to do for me now? 
Dow Industrials right now up 34, NASDAQ up 44, S&P's up 7.5. What's going to be impressive here is that can actually the market hold um, the green today, especially the Dow. You can see they, they were trying to sell down the Dow and the S&P's, man. They're just coming right back. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge. Just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And we talked the gold market. Uh, right now, you got a trial going on in Chicago, folks, about spoofing. Spoofing specifically is you're putting orders in that you're going to cancel. Uh, I got to read this one part of you because it, it's it, what the traders were actually saying is how easy it is to manipulate the gold market. And it is. And I, I, you, you, you got to wrap your head around this. So listen to this. This is a quote today at the trial. OK, on January 28th, uh, Bezos was working for Deutsche Bank. He put an order to buy 2,740 gold futures contract valued at 224 million over the course of four and a half minutes. Um, a uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, more than 98 percent were canceled without being filled. As the prices rose, a separate trader. Okay, so picture this. So 98 percent of them were canceled. So you put the bid in. You're running, running, running. You, you try to run them up. Nothing's being filled. On the other side of it, his partner. Uh, they got these guys cold. So it's going to be interesting. You know, just what it is. His other partner sold 170,000 contracts. Guess what, folks? Bottom line, you're the other, you know, the other side of the trade. The other side of the trade took, took in 15,172,500. And then 
Bass writes, this is how stupid these, it, it blows my mind, man. I don't hate that word stupid. This is just how ignorant the, these folks are, though, that they always write everything down and then they tweet it, okay? And he writes, that just shows how easy it is to manipulate the market sometimes. It's like, give me a break, man. But the gold market has been like that since I've been in the gold market, folks. The bottom line, I don't trade gold futures because um, you just want to get eaten alive. I mean, there's, there's you know, it's Morgan Stanley, uh, not Morgan Stanley, uh, J.P. Morgan, they've been in the silver market forever. Once I, you know, read the stories about the amount of uh, ounces that they legally are shot, it's insane, okay? So the bottom line is that they just print money, everyone else loses money. The equity market's a different ballgame. That's the real bottom line. You can see this market, you just can't hold it down. Dow Industrial's up 36. You get the Nasdaq up 52, S&P's up nine and a half. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything we need, folks, is right inside us. You might as well have a blast with it. Yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? I'd love you to tell your friends about TFNN. Ask them to go to YouTube, subscribe, it is free. <laughs> we'll get them, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market.